Hey, this is Gary Chambers with Tractor View doing a short little video blog uh, before trying to do our first day of harvest. And I've had a lot of questions on Twitter about uh, my iPad mount, my phone mounts, that type of thing in my John Deere. This is a new John Deere to me this year. It's not a new John Deere because I'm not going to spend that kind of money. But uh, I want to give you a look inside what I'm using this year. Hopefully it'll answer some of the questions I'm getting on Twitter. So come on up and we'll take a look. So a couple things that I'm using uh, that I use all the time. Uh, one of those things is for my iPhone 4 and it's a Mophie Juicy Pack which basically doubles my battery life for my iPhone 4 and as you know iPhones aren't the, the most um, battery life out of the device and it also works very well to protect it. So I keep that on this Kensington mount. Two different styles of Kensington mounts I'm using this year. This one has this little crazy flexi arm which is brand new to me. I'm just trying it out. I really quite like it. This one's more of a stable, um, adjustable mount. So I keep my iPhone 4 here. Um, Android device I'm trying out for the first time. Uh, this is the new Samsung Galaxy 2 uh, Android device. So I'm pretty excited about it. I love the 8 megapixel camera. Um, the apps obviously are very similar to that of the iPhone. So I'm giving the Android a chance. For those of you who say I'm strictly uh, an Apple guy, uh, you're not correct. This gets a lot of questions, um, what iPad mount I'm using. It actually took me a long time to find an iPad mount that I like. Um, my iPad 2 here. This is made by Ram mounts and it actually really is a solid mount. It's got a huge suction cup on it. Um, really good that way. It has a really firm locking device. Really solid built. Uh, Ram-mount.com is where I ordered it from. And I've gone through a lot of these and it really locks into place. I've never had it come loose, never had it come out of place. The only downside to it a little bit is that uh, you can't have an iPad in the case. It actually has to be out of the case. So, um, you know, it's a little bit of a downside if you're worried about the protection side of it. I find it really cool if I'm doing Skype calling. I can mount it pretty much anywhere in the cab with me and have it running. A little bit laggy on the 3G network. That's why I am trying out the Android as it's running on the 4G network. Uh, speaking of cell reception, uh, another device that I mount into all my vehicles on the farm is my Wilson cell phone booster and the Wilson cell phone booster is probably the only booster I've gone through piles of different boosters in the past never had very good luck with them working the ones that mount under the seats and everything this one is simple to install plugs into a cigarette lighter magnetic antenna on top and it really does work I've tested it on a lot of different fields around the farm different roads that I drive on all the time and I'm getting full bars on my iPhone where I used to get no bars so um, that's just sort of a, a quick clip of the stuff that I'm using uh, on the farm uh, outside of that this video is being uh, recorded on a uh, Kodak um, play sport which is shockproof dustproof um, really a cool new video camera that I like uh, recommended by a good friend of mine Doug DeVitri so that's sort of the tools that I'm using this harvest hopefully you'll see some more video posts from me as we get started and let's cross our fingers today and hope that it's dry thanks for watching